Okay, the Grand Prix at Austin two weekends ago and the Grand Prix at Mexico last weekend, we saw some disgusting driving again from Max Verstappen. After Austin, Karun Chandok, Karun here, tried to validate Max Verstappen. These are the rules that uh, Karen presented to us as being the official rules of the FIA. I'm going to show you what the real official rules of the FIA are. But this is how Karen tries to tell us that it's all OK for Max. Nowhere does it say, because again, if I read that line, it says that the overtaking car must stay within track limits. Nowhere does it say that the car being overtaken, in this case Verstappen, must stay within track limits. So I think that is something that the drivers would like reviewed. Nowhere does it say that Verstappen has to stay within track limits. So that's OK. Max is the expert of the rules and he knew that nowhere does it say that he has to stay in track limits. So that makes it all right, says Karen in the media. Or James in The Truth will tell you the following. You see, what exists and existed is the FIA's web page. And on that web page, you've got the regulations. And within those regulations, you've got the International Sporting Code. And in the International Sporting Code, or appendices to the International Sporting Code, you've got Appendix L. And when you click on Appendix L, you get this. And when you scroll down this, you get this. Chapter 4, Code of Driving Conduct on Circuit. Oh, who'd have thought? A code of conduct for driving around circuits existed. Because Karen told us oh, um, that they've been agreed with the stewards and the uh, race director and the Drivers Association. Uh, Andrew Benson from the BBC will tell us uh, that actually it's just a draft and it hasn't been agreed and it's not been approved yet by the World Motorsport Council. But at the start of the season, this existed. And it still exists. So who do you believe? Do you believe Karen and Andrew Benson or do you believe the evidence that you can go and find yourself on the FIA's own web page? So you can get this document yourself. I've not taken the time to forge it and make it up. It is what it is. Observance of signals. These are things like flags and stuff. The instructions detailed in Appendix H to the International Sporting Code are deemed to be part of this code of driving conduct. All drivers must abide by them. So that's observing signals such as yellow flags, safety car boards, etc. Overtaking car control and track limits. So A, a car alone on the track may use the full width of the said track. However, as soon as it is caught by a car which is about to lap it, the driver must allow the faster driver past at the first a possible opportunity. If the driver who has been caught does not seem to make full use of the rear view mirrors, flag marshals would dis display the wave blue flags to indicate that the faster driver wants to overtake. Any driver, but not all, who appears to ignore the blue flags will be reported to the stewards. But any doesn't mean all according to Red Bull rules, everybody, but Red Bull rules aren't rules. They're just things used to condition us to accept corruption. B. Overtaking. Who would have thought there'd have been guidelines regarding overtaking? According to the circumstances, may be carried out on either the right or the left. And strangely, going around motor racing circuits, you have right and left corners and at either right or left corners, overtaking may, may be permissible on either the right or the left, which dictates that you could be on either the inside or the outside of the car that you're trying to overtake at any point. And overtaking may be carried out either on the right or the left. Anywhere around the track. That's possible, isn't it? A driver may not leave the track without justifiable reason. A driver may not leave the track without justifiable reason. Would jumping out of the way to avoid a car that's careering into you be a justifiable reason? Answer. I'm not asking a question. I'm telling you the factual answer. And that is yes, it is a justifiable reason. 
if a car is driving at you and going to hit you, it would be wrong of you to just sit there and let it happen. If it's possible for you to jump out of the way of it, you should jump out of the way of it. And that would be a justifiable reason for you to leave the track. That is the truth. Do not let anybody, lawyer or otherwise, argue otherwise. So, next. More than one change of direction to defend a position is not permitted. So, you're not allowed to weave going down a straight, such as what we saw Max Verstappen do at Abu Dhabi 2021 on that last illegal lap. Strange that these regulations, these, you know, the International Sporting Code, the appendix to that existed already. Strange that. Nobody knows the guidelines. Nobody knows the rules. The rules didn't exist. They're a grey area. They're open to interpret. No, they're not. Here they are. Look. Here they are. Look. So, any driver, but not all, moving back towards the racing line, having earlier defended his position offline, should leave at least one car width between his own car and the edge of the track on approach to the corner. However, manoeuvres liable to hinder other drivers, such as deliberate crowding of a car beyond the edge of the track, yeah, forcing a car off the track, not leaving them room on the track. Right, what's, what's, what, what happens if you don't leave the other car room on the track, Karen? Is the car on the inside of the track? Does that have to remain on the track, Karen? Let's have a read, shall we, Karen? Because Karen's telling us nowhere does it say that the car on the inside has to stay on the track. Um, let's see what this says, Karen, shall we? Let's see what this says. Manoeuvres liable to hinder other drivers, such as deliberate crowding of a car beyond the edge of the track or any other abnormal change of direction, are strictly prohibited. Any driver who appears guilty of any of the above offences will be reported to the stewards. And the intention of reporting them to the stewards is for the stewards to apply the appropriate penalty, not twist the rules round to absolve the guilty party of consequence for their actions. Drivers must use the track at all times and may not leave the track without justifiable reason. For the avoidance of doubt, the white lines defining the track edges are considered to be part of the track, but the curbs are not. If the FIA has approved the white lines being painted on the curb itself, it is still considered to be part of the track. Should a car leave the track for any reason, the driver may rejoin. However, this may only be done when it is safe to do so and without gaining a lasting advantage. A driver will be judged to have left the track if no part of the car remains in contact of with the track. So we go back to Austin going into the corner. The point before the overtaking manoeuvre was attempted because at that point in time Lando Norris was in third place. Max Verstappen was in fourth place. That was noted on the FIA official timing screen. OK, so the overtaking car was Max Verstappen. Max left the track and then demanded that he was third. He demanded that in the process of trying to perform the overtake on Lando Norris for third position, that he is entitled to third position and he left the track. Max Verstappen went over the line and demanded that he is now the third place car. Lando Norris is the car that had to dive out of the way of being hit had to leave the track, a valid reason for leaving the track, rejoin the track in the position that he was prior to the corner, prior to Verstappen attempting to overtake him. And the FIA twisted things around and gave the decision to Verstappen. The driver will be judged to... Right, a driver may be reported to the steward should... They perform an act which results in debris being brought onto the track. D. Causing a collision, 
repetition of serious mistakes or the appearance of our lack of control over the car, such as leaving the track, will be reported to the stewards and may entail the imposition of penalties up to and included the disqualification of any driver concerned. It is not permitted to drive any car unnecessarily slowly, erratically or in a manner deemed potentially dangerous to other drivers at any time. Sergio Perez, the master of defence in Abu Dhabi. Have we ever seen that before? Why did we never see drivers driving like that before Abu Dhabi 2021? Was it that all competitors know that it is not permitted to drive any car? But not all cars, because any doesn't mean all, does it, Red Bull? Red Bull rules. It's not permitted to drive any car unnecessarily slowly, erratically, or in a manner deemed potentially dangerous to other drivers at any time. Causing a collision, repetition of serious mistakes. The repetition of a serious mistake of driving your opponent off the track in Brazil, 2021. In Saudi, 2021. In brake testing your opponent in Saudi, 2021. In driving your opponent off the track at Austin, 2024. At Mexico, 2024. The repetition of serious mistakes. Or the appearance of a lack of control. No, that wasn't a lack of control. Max was fully in control of what he was doing there. Max knew what he was doing. Will be reported to the stewards and may entail the imposition of penalties up to and including the disqualification of any driver concerned. And then we move to car stopping during the race. These are the things that existed. This is what already existed. Quite simply, on this document, Appendix Al, Chapter 4, you can see on the left hand side it's written in French, on the right hand side is all you need to read. One, two, And then car stopping during a race. We don't need to read that bit. Entrance to the pit lanes. The pit lane, what they do in the pits. Exit from the pit lane. And then we go to chapter five. You don't need separate rules for cornering. Then general principles apply anywhere around a race track. Because a race track consists of both straights and corners and then general principles apply everywhere around that track and yet Karun in the media pretend they lie to us that actually the guidelines for what's allowed and what's not aren't that and that what those guidelines are isn't underpinned by that and that them guidelines mean that actually they don't say you can't run another car off the track, which means Max Verstappen is the expert of the rules and knows that you can run another driver off the track. Well, that's not how it is, is it, you lying media scum? You lie in the media to condition the corrupt, well, you condition and corrupt the minds of the vulnerable. You are abusers. You are abusing a global population with lies and mistruth for the agenda of a corrupt narrative, of a corrupt organisation. You are criminals. You are scum. You are absolute scum and you are going to be taken down. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can believe the media or you can go and just seek the truth. The truth is there in black and white bit in purple as well the added bits are in purple but there's the truth there's the truth i'm not making this up this is this this is the fia document i've been spending the last few days making this up here it is because I'm, I'm fluent in french as well i wrote both sides of it
Go and have a look. FIA International Sporting Code Appendix L. It existed. There's a sporting code. Sporting code tells you that nobody that's an official can have a conflict of interest. So if you're a, an official in the sport, a, a marshal, um, then um, you can't sort of like, for an example, and just a random example, you can't own a Honda car dealership and make your money from selling Honda cars and uh, be an official in an event where you could be the one determining whether a Honda powered car wins that event or not. Because that would be a conflict of interest. You know, you're not allowed for, you know, great white hopes like that to, to con you know, conduct themselves like that in the sport. That's said uh, by the FIA's own international code. But, you know, I know you, you're, you've all switched off now. You've moved on already. Um, you, there's, this, this is too boring reading what the truth is. Uh, and instead, um, it, this is far more interesting. Let's get our information from here, shall we? Let's just believe the media. Let's believe the people that are paid to present the narrative. The people that are ultimately owned by those who are making the money out of this, that are benefiting from the fraud. Wake up, people. Wake up. Bit by bit, this dynasty is going to crumble. Every empire in the history of time has crumbled. It's time... For this one to crumble. Thanks for your time.